What's up everybody, welcome to my new video. So I got two things going on right now. I got the HTML exercises and I got the Alberta's website that I'm working on. The HTML work uh, exercises are online. You guys can see them. The actual website is right here. You can visit it. I made it secure now. I added the um, SSL. For some reason, it doesn't let me link it on like social media, but it's secure. I don't know. Um, I guess they think it's a uh, spam. It is new, so maybe that's why it's, what, like a week old? Maybe two, I don't know. So the website that's up right now, that's on the last exercise, which was, it's basically, I, I had to do a table. This whole, this whole thing is a table, right? I had a just, and then this is a cell, right? If you guys know like um, Excel, I don't, but we're just I'm gonna name it. Anyways. Uh, one cell then the second cell so on this cell you gave like an explanation on this cell you put a, a picture that's what that was what the last exercise was and then so I kind of just try to because the next exercise is to make a, a website a simple website one of those old school ones which is made of a this is like a table as well it doesn't have borders or anything now I don't know if I don't know how it works because I don't know if this is a background color and then like this one's another background color, the blue and white, or if they put up a background picture. Because over here, if you check it out, it doesn't go all the way through. I already tried like with 100%. I already tried a lot of things and it doesn't go fully all the way through. And even if I was to take off border, like that doesn't do anything as far as I know. But over here, if I like take off border, so it doesn't change it, right? So for some reason, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and leave it back. It helps me like kind of like visualize. Wait, what? Oh, it kind of helps me visualize how I'm working out and stuff like that. So yeah, there's that, and then there's the Alberto's website, which is, you know right here that's the full website it's like you know it's pretty chill it's whatever it is and i think i've shown it like so many times but there's progress every single time now making it smaller i'm doing mobile now so dark mode boom. oh it's like right it's like right there it's a, i think it's like at 750 pixels something like that so yeah, um, let's see what, what kind of changes I've made. So let's see, so obviously dark mode. This right here, I went to a UI website. It's called Dribble with three Bs. And uh, you know, you can get some inspiration and see how other people have done it for the nav bar. A lot of people don't use a line to separate the nav bar from the content. They just, they just let it flow through. I wanted to use a line because if you make it a little bigger, it has this little gradient. On this one, the gradient is a black and it like fades to a gray or whatever. So it looks natural, but I tried it the opposite way. I tried it a white gradient and it looks kind of weird. Let me see, do I still have it or no? Um, no, I don't have it. Anyways, I was gonna show you, but that's, that's fine, you know. Um, yeah, so the gradient looked kind of weird, so I decided to go with this right here, which is, you know, it ain't too bad. Well, it ain't too bad, but, uh, you know, I don't know, because I still need to fix the knob. Like, I need to make the words white or close to white. I'm not going to make them fully white because the ratio can't be too strong. There's, like, this ratio where it's more readable. That's why the words aren't black black. They're, like, dark gray. Pretty much it. Uh, so yeah. So next up is the nav bar. I'm gonna see if I can make the logo smaller. I'm gonna remove all of this. All of this right is gone. Cause remember, mobile will still go smaller. This is like not even mobile, bro. This is like some mobile phones, but it still goes like even thinner. So 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 yeah. I'm gonna remove all this once that's removed. I'm gonna. Uh, Make the logo smaller probably obviously like make it a little bit more to the right the button oh i don't know maybe smaller 
maybe not, but I am going to center it so it'll be equal space from the bottom and the top. Right now it's obviously at the top. And that's it for now. Then after that, I go on to footer and I'll update you guys. I'll update you guys then. But uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.